So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions and you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. So today we managed to get ourselves uh, 64 Prem Silvers at 3k a piece. Uh, because I want to sell them on 4 6pm, I'm going to start listing them. Going to be listing them up at 4k a piece, which means we bought them at 3. Sell them at 4, which means we can make a 800 coin profit per card. So we'll be making about £4.64 of them. Probably making about 40 50 k if I can go and sell them all for 4k. Might be a little bit ambitious, but we are going to start listing them, and we've got like four or five hours to sell them. So, uh, yeah, we'll update you guys on how well I managed to sell them on. At 2 p.m., which means I've only got about four hours to sell these cards. So, I'm actually going to list them up for 3.6. So, I'm only going to make about. What did the calculator say? I made 420k. Sorry, 420 coins per card. Which means, in the end, I'll probably make like 20, 30k. It won't be anything too crazy, but the last thing you're going to be is stuck with these cards when we get upgrades because no one's doing the league SBC when we get upgrades. I don't believe we're actually going to get icon sorts today, and they're really, really inflated. What I'm going to be doing right now is actually selling on all my Brazilians and Argentinians because I actually back them dropping tonight when we don't get it. And at the moment, a lot of people are hyping it up, but there's so many things that hint towards us not getting it. A few things being, one, the icon token card isn't in the pack code, otherwise it would have been tweeted about. And two, there's no, you're not getting the whole 25 times 83. And because there's no, oh sorry, the 25 times 80, because the 25 times 83 isn't in the pack code and all that lot, I don't back it coming out today, yet there's a lot of hype. So I'm going to sell them all right now, take the profit, and then I'll, um, yeah, then I'll maybe reinvest in them later in the week when they get cheaper. Sorry, the Brazilians we bought for 1.2k, uh, we are selling on for 1.8. That's a 600 coin difference with a tax of about... 90 coins. So we are making ourselves basically 510 coins per card, which means we make a K for every two we sell. Uh, we did end up by 90. So uh, yeah, maybe looking at 45 sort of 50k profit, which isn't bad. We're also selling the old ones for like uh, 2k and a bit. Like this guy is a little bit better than the next. So we're listing these for 2k rather than the rest we're listing for 1.8. But yeah, just getting some sales in before I think again they won't drop them. Our Brazilians on at the moment we sold 20 on for 2k and 42 on for 1.8k. We're now getting underway selling our Argentinians. Decent ones go up for 1.7. Rubbish ones go up for... Sorry, rubbish ones go up for 1.7. Good ones go up for 1.8. So 700 coin difference for the rubbish and 800 coin difference for the good. So i give you guys a little update. Uh, now we've had the... Uh, what's it called? Now that we've had the Mertens SBCs out, we're going to go and sell all our Serie R specials we bought. Uh, we've got El Shuari's at 25.7 on average. I can actually go and sell him right now for 20... So I can sell him for 34,750. Which is pretty bang it, bear in mind going for 25. So that means I make 7.3k per Alshawari. Picked up five of them, uh, meaning we're going to turn over 36.5. Also a little bit of mass with the Argentinian and the Brazilian players. Um, bought 45 at... Uh, hopefully the maps add up. I might, I might have been wrong with how many I bought, but... Bought 45 at 1k, so 9 at 2, 20 at 1.7, and 8 at 1.8. Uh, managed to make 25k overall. And with the Brazilian silvers, I bought 90 at 1.2, sold 21 at 2k, 60 at 1.8k, uh, making me 45k. So the 45k plus the 25k plus the 36k I'm about to go and get from El Shawari means we're already sitting very close to 100k for the day on investing, which isn't bad. So I actually bought for 15.3. I'm going to be selling at 16k, meaning I'll be losing 100 coins per Lozano. I did go and buy 12 of them, meaning I'm losing 1.2k. But again, for an investment to, I guess, flop because the Mertens isn't madly uh, demanded. To only use a K is not bad because I was going to reinvest those coins and make them, uh, make them back. Uh, Pereira, but luckily it's not that bad because the these ones that I bought at twelve fifty on average, I'm going to be selling at 13, which means I make 150 coin loss. And these Pereiras that I bought, again, on average at twelve fifty, we are going to be selling for 30... We're going to be selling for 14K, uh, which means I get 13.3. Which means uh, after tax, I'm going to be making on average 800 coins. So 800 coin made profit per these, 150 coin loss per these, um, which means overall I'll probably break even. But we're going to go make some new investments because this has come out by one of the leakers. And why back this being is basically an advanced a SBC set where they basically want the equivalent of marquee matchups from every single one of these teams. So what I'm going to go and do is going to go lump a bunch of coins on these, gambling that what he's saying is basically an SVC set that you need these players because this whole promo is called Versus and it's all about rivalries. And as a result, I back them releasing this SVC. It's like one big set. We need to complete all these little ones. 
And I think they'll do really, really well, so I'm going to go and put the Punjas of K into them. One of the reasons I'm so confident in buying this is back in FIFA 19, we got these SBCs here. And it was at the end of the uh, Champions League, they didn't want to be bait and just give us the Champions League SBCs. So what they gave us, they gave us a set of seven Champions League SBCs of the best games up until that point. And you can see that IX had a repeat thrice. You can see, you can see the sort of requirements. They all required, like, uh, players from the teams. But, you know, they had the same sort of SBCs over and over and over again. And players like Ajax, you know, players did very, very well. For, I mean, UCL cards did insanely well for this. But this is exactly what I'm expecting now on Thursday with marquee matchups. Which is why I'm putting all my money right now into these UCL markets. Because I think, they'll do, I think some of these teams could do so well. The only worry is that, again, they might not require some of the lower teams. And just require the classic players from that nation. So require you so many Belgian players. Or require you so many from the Liga Nos. Or, you know, have that sort of requirement for the lower ones. But... This is exactly what I'm expecting on Thursday, the list of the teams below. So that's why I'm going all in on the... Uh, These on the players, play. literally, I'm paying 500 coins for the silvers and 200 coins for the bronzes. Like, I'll literally be able to sell them on for that for generics. So all I'm doing right now is literally going through this list of leaked, uh, boosted marquee matchups. And literally just picking the players up for discard. You know, golden on rares. What can I win him for? We're going to win him for discard. Oh, sorry. Win him for 500 coins. I, I wouldn't really mind doing that. Or you go gold rares. They have any gold rares? Nope, they only have golden on rares. That's perfect. Because worse comes worse, they'll literally hold value for the generic SBC. So, right now, just stacking the club of uh, all the players from down below. And, uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. I don't really have buy and sell price. Uh, sold on the Vinny Jr. Now, I said earlier in another episode that I sold him at 202. But I am a liar. Uh, we actually sold him at, uh, well, obviously, 188. Which means I thought I lost 7.5k, but I lost a lot more. Well, I lost 26.4. It's not that deep. Uh, the Pereira is starting to sell on as well. Uh, the overall with Pereira is that I sold, I think it was 13 for a loss of 150 coins. I sold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I think 8 for a, a gain of 800 coins. Meaning I made a total of about 4k gain on a 300k investment because it didn't work well. But nonetheless, we've continued putting our coins back into the teams down below that are good for the, uh, the rival marquee matchups we should be seeing either today or tomorrow. So, um, yeah, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. I've picked up a few Courtois, but I've had a bit of a change in mind. Because this whole account is all about investing in things. And I'll be honest with you, if these SVCs down below actually do come out, Olympiago Silvers are going to go from, like, if needed, 200 coins to about 5k. If Celtic and Rangers players are needed, they'll go to, like, 2-3k apiece on the night. City players, if they're if City players are needed, they're only needed once. <laughs> they made C players, they got to like 2k. Getting Uni and SG players go to like 5, 6k. The one thing you have to be aware of is that EA could very easily go, oh yeah, we want Belgium play Lee players. So, but then again, if you're getting these players at such a cheap price, it doesn't matter. Like, if I'm getting Olympiacos and Pacentiacos, and EA just want maximum two Greek Lee players, they'll still bang, because every Greek Lee player is going to go up. So, what I think I'm actually going to do is liquid the whole of this account, which means we'll basically see how many coins we have. And then we're going to go and put absolutely everything into... Well, I'll give you a list of investments in a set. So, if I can sell everyone for what I want to sell it on for, I've done all the maths here. I've got 49, um, 49 Navases who are worth 205k. 10 uh, Courtois who are going to sell for 360. 2 Ukmakano is going to sell for 50, 100. 27 um, Contas selling on for 32.4. And 3 Pro is going to sell for 39. That is going to make me, after tax, 734k. Add that to the 596k means about, go and put about 1.3 million. On top of that, I've probably already put like 30, 40k. So uh, currently the account's in about 1.35 million. And we're about to go and throw all that onto the players and the teams down below. So without further ado, let's start the long road of investing 1.3 million. So we've been doing a little bit of buying, so I thought I'd go through my list a little bit for you guys right now. So, how we are starting this list, we've got all the marquee matchups below. Uh, a few of the gold cards are a little bit expensive, so I've been kind of focusing on just the silver and bronzes. Starting off here with the Greek teams, you can see Olympiakos versus Pekantiakos. Very easily, buy as many of these bronzes for 200 coins for both teams. Uh, we then move on the way with silvers. Silvers aren't too bad to buy. I don't think Olympiakos have any, but Pekantiakos... I don't know, they're going to get an Olympiakos there for 200 coins. Papadapadopadopadopoulos. Who would have believed? A guy in the Greek league called Papadapadopoulos. Wow. Uh, but yeah, we got ourselves silver, sorry, for 300 coins for both teams. Uh, a fair few more there were earlier. So that's the Greek league. Uh, gold you can get for 600 coins. 
We then head into the Liga Nos, which is the next team we're going for. Uh, I'm picking up Silvers for 500 coins. Again, the two teams here are Porto and uh, Benfica are picking up Golds for 600 and uh, Silvers for 500. Find their team. That's their team. We then head into the Belgian Pro League, uh, if we can find that right there. And we pick up players from this team and this team. Bronzes are 250 and Silvers are 400. We then move into the Super League. Get around, we do. We get around for this. Uh, we go and buy Galatasaray, which. Well, we go and buy Atlanta Taspor. Make sure you go for this team and Galatasaray. And uh, those prices are 400 for a bronze, 500 for a silver. And then finally, we move into the Scottish League for the uh, Old Firm Derby. We pick up Celtic players, which is already pick up silvers for 400 and bronzes over at 200. So. For range and so that is going to be that i think as well we got our uh, i guess our investments for the day um made 45k on the brazilian silvers made 10.2 on the sorry made 25k on the argentinian silvers 36k was made from the el chavaris uh 10.2k was made from the prem silvers uh we lost 20k on we lost 20k on Lost 20k on something, but I haven't stated what. 20k on something. Uh, lost 26.4k on the Vinicius Jr. Lost 21k on... Oh, sorry, the concerts where we lost total of 20k. And lost um, 21.2k over on the Lozanos. Uh, the Canals and Prairie cancel each other out, which means we've made for the day 79.1k profit, which isn't bad. It's, well... Bear in mind, all the profit at the moment is just going all towards these bronze silvers. So that's going to be it for uh, investing and the way of trading. We just got ourselves a nice little like on deal here on Stonkov. Got him here at 280. We're going to be throwing him up at 310. That is going to be a 30k difference with a, just under a 15, well, just under a 16k tax. Meaning we're going to turn ourselves over at about 14.5k. So, yeah, not too bad on the Stonkov. We have had a few other icon deals, but they're only like 510k. We have Coben here at 70.5. Going to go and sell him at 85. Uh, it's going to be a nice little 11k profit after tax, which isn't bad. Basically, it's about the discard, which is kind of crazy. A 6k tax and a 14k profit. So, not bad. Bonus sell on the Stonkov we bought this morning. Uh, and yeah, not too bad. We've got ourselves Sanchez right here. There's going to be a 24k difference with a 10k tax and a uh, 14k profit after tax. So, yeah, very happy about that. And then we've got Hierro for 91. He's going to go up for 103. Uh, that is going to be a 12k difference, about 5k tax and a 7k profit, so yeah, not too bad. Deals right here, really weird market this morning because like cards are just all over the shop, but we've got ourselves Sanchez right here. There's going to be a 24k difference with a 10k tax and a uh, 14k profit after tax. So yeah, very happy about that. And then we've got Hierro for 91. He's going to go up for 103. Uh, that is going to be a 12k difference, about 5k tax and a 7k profit, so yeah. Not loads and loads of special deals. Got a few icon sales, which is nice. So obviously, uh, we'll get back on obviously some of the icon trading soon. Some deals we managed to get are oh, Zuma for 15.5. Sorry, I sell price. Uh, Arnold sells at 15.5. Oh, I didn't get Kappa's data. But Mings uh, sells on for 15.5, which is decent. Uh, Chilwell goes for 21k. That's decent. Dumfries goes for 18k. That's not bad. And Marvi goes for 22.750, which isn't too bad. Um, Harley's go for 27k. That's really good. That Malay will go for 19k. I think there's an increase in demand due to the uh, Mertens SBC. Kanato goes for 18.750. So, yeah, looking really, really good. We'll get them listed up and, uh, yeah, crack on away some icon trading. First, uh, so it's the middle Cliver for the price of baby Cliver. Idiot. Absolute idiot. But 60k difference. Tax of 8k. Makes up a nice little 52k profit after tax. How are you, Clavet? Hey, it only gets better when there's primes because then people list up the primes for the mid price and the mid price for the baby price, and the, uh, they're all over the shop. But happy, happy days. So, Pinto to Sanchez is right here. We got one at one nine eight and one at one nine three. Uh, both going to go up for two twenty, uh, which means that there is a twenty seven k difference with an eleven k tax and a sixteen k profit on this one. So, not bad. Sixteen k profit here, and what's this? Five k more. So, an eleven k profit there. So, not too bad. On the likes of Sanchez, still leaves us with 640k, which is enough to trade, but 
There you go, not too bad. So we got ourselves a Pirlo uh, 150. So it's a 192. That is a 42k difference with a 10k tax and a 32k profit. Very nice, Mr. Pirlo. So, and to end off the trading episode, it's not looking bad. I think last episode we just subbed 2 million. I think we were 199. A few decent buys like the Sanchez is about 180. Uh, the Pirlo 192. And uh, yeah, the Clive obviously coming in at 102. Managed going from just under 2 million to after tax 1.3. Sorry. After tax, I've got to add on the, uh, the current number. So, 1055. So, we've got 2.356 million, which means we made about 400k today of Icon trading, which isn't too bad. So, you have another successful day of trading. And as you can see below what we're investing in. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode where I buy a lot of those uh, investments, to put it politely. <laughs>